Let's begin today on our backs. And today you can have your legs straight. If that's not painful or too uncomfortable for you, then let's go ahead and straighten the legs. And if that's not so comfortable on your back, sometimes making your legs wider apart can alleviate some of that. Just see. And of course, if it is still uncomfortable, then feel free to bend your knees. Listen to your own body. And we'll have the arms out away from the body with the palms up. And we'll begin just to land in the moment, taking a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, sinking into the ground, really feeling the bones becoming heavier. And then again, deeply inhaling, exhaling out of the mouth, feeling the muscles soften and melt off the bones. One more deep breath in, Exhaling out of the mouth, feeling all the organs inside of you relaxing. And I invite you to close the eyes. Connect with the feeling of your breath. Deliberately slowing the breath down and filling up the body with the breath. As you inhale, straighten the fingers, reaching out through the ends. And then as you exhale, just let the hands relax again. So you're not actively pulling your hands in like a fist. You're just returning to neutral on the exhale and opening on the inhale. As though your hands were breathing. Now on the inhale, in addition to extending the fingers, we'll roll the hands away from each other, moving the thumbs toward the ground. And then on the exhale, you just undo all of that, turning to neutral. See if you can feel the rotation of the hands carrying up through the arms, even into the shoulders, and perhaps resonating in the chest. And now we'll add the same movement that the hands are doing with the feet. So moving in the direction of the baby toes. See if you can get the sense that this movement is starting somewhere in your center and then opening outward. And then Retracting back in. See if you can get the sense of this movement being propelled by the opening of the breath.
and then let the feet come back to stillness. Let the rotation of the hands come back to stillness. Fingers come back to stillness. See if you still have a residual sense of breath expanding out in all directions, moving the body away from the center, coming back in towards it on the exhale. Try to maintain this breath and this connection to the breath as we move and bring the knees up into the hands. Challenge yourself to keep the breath as a steady backdrop behind all the movement, even the movement that's not rhythmic. And then on the inhale, as the belly rises, the thighs roll away from us. And as the exhale lets the belly drop, the thighs come in toward the belly. See if it feels like there's a relationship between the breath and the movement. And if there is, check in to see if it feels like one is leading and one is following. And if so, which is which? Does the breath initiate the movement? Does the movement facilitate the breath? Maybe it's different on the inhale and the exhale. Just check in with curiosity. The next time the knees come in, you'll, your next inhale will open the knees out to the side and exhale back together. Again. And then the next time the knees open out, hold them there and see if you can continue to feel the movement within the stillness. Maybe moving out from the center in that same way and holding back in. And then bringing the knees back in, hugging them back to the chest. 
and holding them hugged in and feeling the expanding breath and where it goes when you're not making space for the belly to expand by rocking the thighs away. And then release the left leg down and straighten it out, flexing the left foot, hugging the right knee in even more so that the right knee and the left heel reach away from each other. Noticing how the breath might feel differently now that you've made space on this left side. the movement, the sensation, the present sense experience of the body breathing in this position. Wings relieving toes. What happens if you're more active in your straight leg? And we'll bring the right hand to the inside of the right foot and lift the right foot so that it lines up with the knee. And then take the left arm overhead, continuing to reach long out of the left foot and counter reaching out of the left hand. And then letting the back of the right shoulder Drop toward the ground, letting the right hand be heavy on the foot, and aiming the toes of that right foot toward the wall behind you. Continuing to press down and out through that left leg. Checking in with how all of this may challenge the breath or may encourage the breath, or perhaps nothing changes with the breath. And then we'll bend that left leg, return the left arm by your side, and place the right ankle above the knee. Clasp the hands behind the back of the left leg, lift the left foot to the height of the left knee, and flex both feet. See where the stretch is and where the breath is. Is there any relationship there? Actively pressing the left foot toward the right foot when you exhale. Continuing to Try to breathe in a way that spreads the breath out away from the center in all directions.
And then release the right leg, extend it out on the ground with the foot flex, and take your hands around the outside of your left knee, drawing the knee in and relaxing the left foot and flexing the right foot, pressing out long through the heel. Breathing as though you're trying to reach the heel. And then we'll take that left hand inside and around the bottom of the left foot and lift the left foot so that it lines up as best as you can over the left knee. And bring the right arm overhead, reaching long from right foot to right hand. Breathing wide and deep and full. And exhaling and dropping in the back of the left shoulder toward the ground. Notice where your breath goes when your body's in this shape. Every position creates a different roadway for the breath to travel. And then we'll bend that right leg, return the right arm, and bring the left foot to the knee. And then lift that right foot, clasp your hands behind the back of the right leg, flexing both feet with the right foot at the height of the right knee. Taking nice, deep, slow breaths. And when you exhale, Release all the air out and draw that right foot or the left foot. Keep your chin down and your neck long. Just breathe and stay connected to the breath. See if you can breathe even wider, even longer. And then release the hands, turn the right foot down a little wider than the hip, left foot down a little wider than the hip, let the knees rest against each other. Let the hands rest. Just let the body absorb all the beautiful work you've done so far. Back spreading wide across the ground. Breath flowing in.
And then separate the knees, roll over onto either side. Resting your head on your arm. And then take hold of the top foot. And then pull the foot back, sending the knee back, maybe lining up the knee with the hip and pulling the heel toward the buttock. You want to deepen the stretch, aim your tailbone for your other knee, the one on the ground. Make sure to continue to breathe all the way in, all the way out. And then release that foot, just let it come to the ground behind you. And roll over to the other side, resting your head on your arm. Reaching for your top foot again and pulling back. Try to get your knee to come in line with the rest of your body. So it's a straight line from your shoulder down your torso, down your thigh. And pull that heel up to the buttocks. And then again, if you can and if you want, you'll kind of pull your belly muscles in to aim your tailbone forward toward that underside knee. And then come back to focusing on your breath. And then just release that knee to rest on top of the other one, bringing your hand to the ground in front of you and see things pose. And then we'll press into the hand in front, keeping the head down, bringing yourself up to sitting. And then once your body's up, your head comes up. Beautiful. We'll bring the soles of the feet together. Hands will come around the ankles. We'll just flutter the knees up and down a little bit in butterfly. <clears throat> and then let the knees come to rest. Pull the hands in toward you to help lift tall through the spine. Roll the shoulders back and down. Keep the chin parallel to the ground. Take a breath in. And then when you exhale, let the left knee fall down on the left elbow fall down toward the right, the left knee. Good. And then we'll reach the right arm overhead. Turn your gaze up and to the right. Perhaps using your abdominal muscles to keep yourself grounded down into that right buttock. Maybe being active in your left hand so that you can really keep your spine long and straight.
Breathe as though you're trying to reach your breath to your fingertips. And on your next inhale, lift up. Exhale down. Inhale, pull hands toward you, lengthening up through the heart. Exhale, right elbow to right knee. And let your head release now. Bring the left arm overhead and reach it long so that you can straighten the arm. And turn your gaze up. And straighten your spine. And stay grounded through your left buttock. And let an inhale lift. Exhale, release the hand. Inhale, pull toward you, lifting the chest. And exhale, fold forward, bringing the hands to the ground. Letting your head relax down. And breathing deeply, even into the belly. Exhaling, drawing the belly in and sinking the elbows down, sinking the forehead down. And then when you inhale, try to re lengthen your spine. Put those lower abdominal muscles and pull them back to send your hips back while at the same time drawing your chest away from your head. Try to relax your arms and feel your whole body. What little effort you might need to help keep your spine long doesn't need to feel like a strain or a struggle. Mostly the inhale is going to help keep the spine open and warm. And then take the arms over to the right. You can bring that right hand kind of behind the right leg, pressing down into the fingers, grounding even more into the left buttock as you reach out away from there with the left hand. Finding the new stretch that the diagonal creates and breathing into that. And then take it over to the other side. Bring the left hand behind, the right arm across. Pressing into the left hand to send the right back up. Reaching out away from there with the right hand. Breathing in a way that seems to fill the shape. Open it. Relax. With the exhale, let it go a little more. Bring the hands around to the center. And use an inhale to roll yourself up. And reaching up, 
opening the heart, opening the spine, and exhale down. Staying with the rhythm of your breath as you straighten the left leg. Keeping the right foot to the inner left thigh, flex the left foot, really lengthening out through the heel. Inhale the arms up. And exhale, fold forward. One hand rests on either side of that leg. And then you can let this, those elbows drop. And here we can press down firmly into the left leg as a means for helping to extend the spine longer. See what happens if you press the outer right knee down toward the floor some more. See if there's any place that you're holding tension. Maybe the hands or arms, or the face, the shoulders, the jaw, the brow. Can you distinguish between what tension feels like and what effort feels like? So there's an effort in keeping the foot flex. There's an effort in keeping the leg pressing down. What does that feel compared to something that's tight or stressed? Hold on. Even on an inhale, roll up once again, reaching up high. On an exhale, turn to your right, bringing your left hand to your right knee and your right hand to the ground right behind you. Pressing down into that right hand, lift tall to the crown of the head. And then exhale, use your left hand and turn your belly to the right. Inhale, right hand lifts you tall. Exhale, left hand turns your ribs to the right. Inhale, right. Exhale, left, turning chest and shoulders. Inhale, tall. Exhale, reach your eyes around behind. And then continue to feel each inhale and exhale, creating space and ease. Moving up long in the space, and moving into the twist with the ease. You don't force that movement, you relax with the exhale and keep the inside soft and supple so that you can move into the twist. Of course, working muscles are not as flexible as soft muscles. So we can use our hands to keep the muscles in the interior flexible. Good. And then on an inhale, we'll come back to center and reach up. Exhale down. Stay with the rhythm of your breath. Bring your left foot in and your right leg out, flexing the foot, pressing down into the body, inhaling, reaching the arms up, exhaling over. When you fold over, try not to lead with your head. Try to lay your belly toward your thigh and then let your head come down 
as an afterthought. Let the hands rest only gently on the ground. Let the elbows bend if possible, the shoulders drape down toward the floor. And then press actively down through the straight leg and out through that heel toward the toes now. Really flexing the foot strongly. And also using downward pressing to the leg to create an equal and opposite motion of the spine lengthening away from that downward press. Seeing how it might change things ever so slightly to aim the outer left knee for the ground. And then just being with the breath. Moving with the breath. Surrendering to the breath. On your next inhale, roll yourself up, reaching up with the arms. Stay tall and exhale, turn to the left. Left hand behind you, right hand to the knee. Pressing into the left hand to elongate the spine even more. Exhale, roll the belly to the left. Inhale, tall. Exhale, your lips turn. Inhale, tall. Exhale, chest and shoulders. Inhale, tall. Exhale, eyes reaching back. Even if your eyes are closed, which, as you know, I always recommend if that's available to you. You're still reaching to the left. As far behind you as possible. Look to the left. And inhale back to center. Take the arms up. Exhale down. Inhale, bring the knee in, the foot in. Exhale, flip over to hands and knees. Stay with the rhythm of your breath. These transitions are not commercial breaks. Creating that solid rhythm of breath. And then wherever you are in your own breath, exhaling to round the back or inhaling to arch the back. Letting the movement begin at the tailbone and then ripple through the spine all the way to the head. Both on the inhale and on the exhale. So it's a gradual movement. Feeling the spine undulating, carried by the breath.
And then come back to stillness. We'll walk the hands forward, keeping the hips lined up over the knees, coming into a puppy pose. Hands are shoulder width apart. Try to keep your arms straight. Bending the elbows is going to take the posture out of the shoulders. And we're hoping to open the shoulders as well as the upper back. And you can rest on your forehead or if you're able to come low enough onto your chin or if you can come even lower on your cheek. And with each exhale, you want to sink your mid and upper back down. Breathing, breathing, walking. And walk the hands in, setting your hips back to your heels, taking a few breaths in, let the pose, and you let them in the spine. And you even gently press them forward with the hands. Seeing how the breath feels here. And then lift your hips back off your feet. Keep your chin to your chest. Walk your hands in toward your thighs. And then roll yourself up so that you're standing on your knees. Bring one hand onto the belly and one hand onto the chest. Maybe closing the eyes to connect with the breath moving from one hand to the next. And you take the hand that's on the belly, release it to the to the heel behind you. And if you don't reach, curl your toes under. And if you still don't reach, then bringing the hand to the hip is a good option. If your hand is on your hip, point the elbow back behind you. If your hand is on your heel, really let your weight fall into that hand. Let's drop the head back if that's available. And then release the other hand, finding the other heel. You may find that where you were able to reach it before without curling the toes under, maybe now you need to curl, curl the toes under and adjust. Or maybe now the hands need to come to the hips. If you can drop your head back, go ahead. If not, let it come forward. And then we'll bring the hips forward, aiming the tailbone for the pubic bone. Breathe in such a way as to lift the heart. Expand the chest. Open the lungs even more. Take the second hand that you move and place that on your belly. Lift up and bring the other hand to your chest. Release both hands to the ground. Bring them about a hand's length in front of your shoulders. Keeping them shoulder width apart, spreading the fingers wide, curl the toes under. Take a deep breath in. And then when you exhale, lift the knees. 
keep the knees bent for just a moment. Just to inhale and lengthen the spine, pushing forward with the hands and sending the hips back. And then on the exhale, you can straighten the legs and press the heels down. And then press the inner ankles toward the outer ankle. See if that changes the stretch at all. Roll the shoulders down your back. And set your heart like we did in the puppy pose. And let your head hang down. And then see how much weight is in your hands. And see if you can shift weight from your hands to your heels by pressing forward through your fingers. And back through your thighs. So you can see if the breath radiates out from the center in all directions. And then bring the knees down, keep the toes curled under, walk the hands in and just sit for a moment on your heels. Let your hands and shoulders relax. Focus on your breath, particularly if it feels challenging in your toes. Focus on something more restful. If your breath doesn't feel less full, maybe your hands do. And then bring the hands back down, cross the ankles behind you, and then sit behind your crossed ankles back onto your buttocks. And then we'll end in an inversion. So you can take your hands to your knees and rock lengthwise and come into shoulder stand. Or if shoulder stand doesn't work for you, maybe your neck doesn't like it, maybe you're pregnant. If you're obese, it's not a good idea to do shoulder stand either. In which case, you can just bring your hands under your hips and elevate your legs. If you're in shoulder stand, your hands go to your hips and then walk down toward the floor along your back, pressing your legs up toward the sky. Spread your toes and reach out through the, just like when we're sitting and we reach up through the fingertips, create that same length reaching up through the toes. Maybe the shoulders, can come under you and closer to each other a little bit more. Maybe you hear the sound of your breath pushing through the back of your throat. And then bring the knees to the forehead. If your hips are off the ground, slowly lower them down. And open the arms out to the side and drop the knees to the right. Turn your head to the left. You can bring that right hand on top of your left leg if that feels helpful, if the leg is already resting easily on the other one, maybe you bring that right hand to the crease at the top of your right thigh and push away. Fighting the breath to so come all the way up to your left shoulder.
And if you're using that right arm, release it and bring the legs over to the other side. Turning your head to the right. And again, your left arm can just be passive and receive the pose, or it might feel like it helps to deepen the stretch if the hand comes to the thigh or presses the top of the thigh. Filling the breath into the space of the body. If the tailbone tuck it under, release the leg, shake them out. And I feel place on your eyes. Hello, release the arms out and the legs out. Today will end as we began. Inhaling, straightening the fingers, reaching them out, exhaling, relaxing. Inhaling, straightening the fingers and rotating the palms away from each other, moving the thumbs toward the floor. And exhaling back into neutral. And that inhaling, fingers, hands, and feet and legs rotate out. Exhaling back. More like that. Let the feet come to us. Come to us and let the fingers come to us. And let the breath come to us. And make a sense of the breath. Continue to ripple out away from the center of that head. And it may not. Whatever it is, is fine. To make anything in particular happen. Just let the breath be breath in. Let the awareness rest in the being of the breath. Just as your body rests, the support of the earth. Deeply relaxed. Back. Back. Ready. Go.
Breathe into your heart, move fingers and toes. Reach the arms overhead, take a deep breath, stretch long. Hug the knees to the chest and rock from side to side. Feeling the ground massaging the back. Come center, bring the soles of the feet together, bring the palms together, rub hand to hand and foot to foot. And then roll over onto either side, resting your head or your underside arm, resting your body on the ground, resting your mind and whatever's here right now. Taking in this moment. Taking in who you are in this moment. And then slowly press yourself up to sit in. Let your head come up last into any comfortable seated position. Sinking down to the sit bones, lifting tall to the head. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hands together at the heart. Inhale, the heart up to the hands. Exhale, shoulders relax down. Inhale deeply, breathing in from bottom to top, take it all in, and let it all go. Chin to the chest. Namaste. Namaste. 